This is Justin and Josh from National EMS. Uh, he had a quick, uh, quick demonstration on basic wound care, basic cut or laceration to the body. Uh, so upon arrival, uh, I'm going to come up. If they already have direct pressure, toilet paper or something, paper towel, I am going to remove that for the time being so I can get a good visualization of what I'm dealing with here, what type of cut it is, what type of bleed I'm looking at. Step one right off the get-go is going to be direct pressure. I'm going to have my uh, partner Josh come up and just hold the arm still for me for the time being. Uh, the gauze pads you can get at any local pharmacy, any kind of clinic, mini clinic, CVS, or Walgreens, replace like that. Uh, step one for bleeding control is always uh, wound irrigation. If there's any dirt debris, I'll clean that out with sterile water, saline solution, what I have available. Once you take your gauze pads, as I said, you can get it at any local pharmacy. Step one is direct pressure and holding down nice and tight. Idea, we'd like the blood to aggregate, the platelets to get to a site of injury, and it's going to allow that clotting factor to take place. So do not be shy about keeping direct pressure and holding that wound nice and tight. Uh, the next step, once we have direct pressure, is going to be elevation. So my partner's going to do this for myself. A uh, patient might be able to do this themselves. We're going to idea, keep this up above the heart. We're going to have reduced blood flow to the area. That's going to help in controlling the bleed. Next step is going to be bandaging the wound into place. A bandage is going to hold my dressing and secure that to my victim so I can get roller gauze. Once again, any local pharmacy. So I'm going to apply direct pressure. We're going to wrap this around and keep this nice and tight. As you gauze, do not be afraid to keep this uh, nice and tight. Every couple twists in your uh, roller gauze, take your uh, gauze, put a little twist in that. Uh, continue to come around. That twist is going to help keep good direct pressure and keep this wound nice and tight. I'm going to continue to roll around. Don't be afraid to just use a whole thing of roll of gauze. Doesn't matter how big, small that cut might be. Just use up your roll of gauze. Don't worry about cutting it. So once we're raveled up, what I can do is take my loose end of gauze, I can tuck that in on itself so the wound is bandaged and when completed. If you have tape, you can take your excess end. Uh, we can take that directly to the, uh, to the dressing or to the bandage and we're good to go from there. So once we're wrapped up, we're all set. Um, sling swath, uh, the splinting we had shown before, uh, you can consider splinting it. That sling is gonna help keep this nice and elevated for us. Uh, that's it, done, should be good to go.